Hey, what is up today? I'm bringing you a reaction video on the tier 5 uh, French light tank, the ELC BIS. Now, in back in the day, this was a really annoying tank and a lot of good players used to play this tank. I never got around to this tank. I completely free XP it and went straight over to the tier 6 12T and worked my way to the back chat from there. But uh, the recent sales uh, for the French tanks, I decided to pick myself one up and uh, see what's it all about. And I played already about 10 games in this tank right now. And I played uh, the early games with the um, final gun, which is the which is the gun which you can't turn the turret around. Uh, and I decided that that, tank, that kind of gun just wasn't for me. It was like a, a, a light tank with a with like a TD characteristic because you had to rotate the uh, rotate the hull to aim the gun, and that uh, and the way that uh, the way the the sniper view mode would would uh, move around when you rotated the hull as well. That kind of annoyed me, and uh, I decided to stick with the smaller gun, which is the uh, second last gun on this tank, and just as well because. This gun actually has got better DPM than the final gun. This gun does uh, nearly 1700 DPM compared to 1191 on the uh, big gun. However, the big gun does 240 damage but takes 12 seconds to reload. This one does 110 damage but has uh, 3.88 seconds of reload time. Now the downside is of course the AP the AP shells are going to be crap. The AP shells actually uh, have 100 millimeters of penetration, which is totally garbage uh, when you're playing in tier 5s, especially if you're bottom tier, which you're always going to be bottom tier uh, when you're playing in tier 5s. Uh, so the way to go is to get the second last gun uh, with the 110 damage, but go full APCR. Now credit is not a problem for me, which is why I'm doing this the uh, I'm doing this the uh, APCR way, full APCR, and I'm running food. Now the gun uh, hasn't got very good dispersion. It's 0.38 dispersion and uh, two seconds of aim time, which means you do need to stop and uh, take some time to aim uh, before you pull your trigger for that sure shot. Uh, you can't like drive around clipping people. It just doesn't work that way. And also uh, the ELC BIS is no longer is no longer as quick and nippy as it used to be in the past. Uh, it is very sluggish compared to what's available out there right now. Now if I'm gonna compare it to uh, the other kind of light tanks that I have I'm, I play a lot of light tanks. I love playing light tanks. And even in tier 5s, I love tier 5 light tanks. And in the past, uh, even though I didn't play this tank, uh, I knew a lot about this tank because I had to come up against it a lot in my chaffy. I played the chaffy a lot and I love the chaffy. But uh, ever since they nerfed the light tanks, the chaffy isn't what it used to be anymore. And uh, basically, the tank that's taken over the chaffy's job right now is the tier 5 soviet t50 light tank that is the numero uno tier 5 light tank right now it is better than this elc bis but if i was going to give them a rating i'm going to say the elc bis is going to be third it's going to be behind the chaffee and it's going to be behind the uh, t50 and uh, this is only because of the uh, mobility the mobility of the ELC BIS is not as good as it used to be in the past. Once it got nerfed, I think uh, it's uh, it's taken the competitive the competitive edge out of this tank. The mobility, it's uh, it's not quite what it used to be. I try to <laughs> I try to auto aim and shoot that there, but uh, I think I lost traction or something and uh, missed the first shot but I still managed to take him out so that's okay uh, we're doing really well in this tank over a thousand damage and uh, we have a little bit of spotting damage as well of course in tier 5s uh, 
you can't expect a lot of spotting damage because uh, simply because you know in tier 5 games you're not going to get a lot of players that are uh, you know going to be at top of their game they're going to they're not going to have their complete wear map awareness on so basically you're just going to have to rely on yourself to do some spotting and to do some damage on your own um, if you're thinking about getting the ELCBIS I uh, I do recommend that you consider going for the uh, smaller gun if you can afford the credits for the APCR now if you're going to shoot AP shells on this gun you're not going to have too much success because penetration 100 penetration in the with the AP shells is not very good you you need to fire APCR shells uh, if you're going to use this gun and uh, yeah I did enjoy myself but uh, if I'm gonna have more fun if I if I do want to have more fun I'm gonna go for the T50 and the Chaffee over this tank anytime but anyway I hope you enjoyed that video um, I hope you uh, got a little bit of insight into the ELC BIS I know I do a lot of high tier tanks but uh, some low tier tanks is what I want to look forward to be doing videos about because I know there's a lot of interest in the lower tier tanks there's a lot of new people playing World of Tanks out there looking for some information on how to play these tanks and uh, how to uh, how to progress through the lower tiers so anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one bye